Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. Here's my personal 2009 Volkswagen Jetta wagon with only 124,000 miles on the odometer. And I'm doing all my best to make her beautiful again. I film on this channel already a lot of maintenance and some repairs which she needed. And today in this video I will be dealing with this hazy, foggy, yellowish headlights. So if you want to see how to get from this to this, stay with me in this video. This lens end up looking almost like brand new. I love it. Let's go and make this one beautiful again. And I will begin this procedure with washing off the dust and dirt from the lens. There is even bird poop right here, which landed on it overnight, I guess. I didn't see it here yesterday. If you use your bare hand, you can feel that buildup of that yellow, foggy, stuff and we will remove that. My next step will be to apply some masking tape to protect these adjacent panels. Basically to protect the paint on those. I will be using rotating tool and sandpapers and that will be very easy to slip and damage the paint on these panels, which of course will be a huge problem. You will be surprised how easy it is to burn through, even through this tape actually. If you are in doubt, always put it double or triple. How easy it is burn with the rotating sander while you are getting to the edges and you might hit this paint and then you will have a mark and imperfection. So we don't want to do that. Now comes very important first step in the removal of that yellow bad stuff which is making it so foggy. I will use 600 Beto Dry sanding paper. Beto Dry meanings it's made to be used in dry and wet conditions. So you will be using a lot of water that's really important. Ideally, you put some soap in that water that helps to lubricate that sanding process. And what I want you, or what I will do, is frequently wash that sandpaper. And basically this area too, to remove that yellow haze, which is, you can hopefully see it, it's flowing down on the lens. So you can trust the weight of it going down, or you grab that sponge, you wipe it off, you help do it to wipe it off, and you continue. And I will say, this is the most important time of this entire job because you don't want to rush this and you don't want to stop doing it too early. If you do, you will be at the end not having good final results. You will be coming back to this step, to this stage and repeating it. So make sure this whole thing you will remove all that yellow haze with 600 paper. Now, can you use 500? Yes. If you can buy 500, if it's in your store, grab 500. But that is more coarse, meaning more abrasive. So, that will be the lowest number I will recommend. I will not go on the plastic headlights. I will not personally start with 400. 
I think it's too coarse, or if I can use another word, I think that's too rough and it might actually create the scratches which we will be not able to get rid of later. When you start getting to the edges, you immediately realize why we put here the masking tape. You don't want to hit and scratch the beautiful paint. When I started this video, when I started filming with you, when I touched this area, it was rough. There was that yellow build up on it. This part is actually perfectly smooth or ready. I can feel it with my fingers. I can feel that somebody from home will be asking in his mind, hey, how many minutes, how much time sh should I give to each stage or how many minutes I should be using here, this P600. Well, I cannot tell you, my friend, it's individual. It basically depends how large the lens is, how bad shape it was when you started this procedure. So it's individual, just use common sense. I will be not doing it half day because I will probably sand through the plastic and create a hole. So just common sense. Can I give a can I give you guesstimate? Well, maybe I will spend on this what three to five minutes, something like that. The, my next step will be using P800. This is basically to remove possible scratches which I created in this lens. It's always recommended wet that sandpaper maybe for at least one minute before you will start using it. So again I will put it on my soft pad. I'm using this sponge as a soft pad since the surface of the light, the headlight is curved, I will not use a straight pad which is hard material, something what is soft. And let's go keep repeating the same thing, this time with 800. If you don't have a soft pad, you can just let it sit on the lens, use your fingers, it's totally fine. And I will give a hint again for advice, don't rush this stage either. Longer, a little bit longer you spend on this stage with the 800, uh, you will not regret it. I will again wipe everything off with the sponge. Now I will be coming down to the super fine pad and this is 3000 and this is a pad which I saved from the previous headlight restoration system kit which is from 3M advanced the number is 39008 there was everything including in it and this is the remnant so basically in that kit was this disc which you can put in your drill and it has that velcro hooks so you just stick it on it will nicely easily click to it now what is really important is lubrication so again plenty of water and I will start basically I will begin polishing the 3000 it's super fine and you are basically this is the beginning of polishing that lens you can either keep dipping the disc in that soapy water or you have a spray bottle. The presence of the water as a lubricant is really important in this stage. And I already starting seeing the difference. The, this is the first time when the lens is becoming clear. No more that milk residue. And that's why I call this start or beginning of polishing. 
Again, it's the same rule, just medium pressure, light or medium pressure. Okay, I think that was enough. And I'm ready to polish that lens. So I will use again the remnants of that 3M kit I showed you. Because I have here that self-sticking polishing pad. So I will carefully remove that 3000 so I don't damage this. Nicely came off. This I did so many cars. Our own cars. I don't do it commercially just for our own purpose. I did so many lenses and cars with this in the past and it still works. It's nothing wrong with it. The compound which came with that kit is gone. That lasted for like four lenses and that was it. But I'm using here the MIG wires uh, mirror glaze. It's a professional machine glaze on that. It's a light cut here. You can see in the corner that the chart. So I basically put a very little bit on this pad. I hope I will show it to you uh, right there. And if you just put it on and hit the trigger it will spray all over again you know you don't want to have that white stuff all over so what do you do you spread it all over the lens you rub it in basically or you could do it with your fingers direct from the bottle but this is the cleanest nicest way and only after that I will start running that polishing pad on it. Again, the same. Don't push too hard on it. I'm using low speed. And after you realize you had enough of this today, you can take your microfiber detailing cloth and hope that that's all what it needs it was enough and basically this polishing is done and I will let you be judge of that look at this this is the old one which I did yesterday without you and look how close we came with this one this is absolutely incredible i hope the lens and the camera shows perfectly results i love it so now i can go ahead and remove that masking tape i will wipe it dry one more time in order to prevent or at least postpone that yellow buildup on that lens I use this 3M synthetic wax protectant. So again, that was part of that set from 3M, but it was a small pouch and that again was gone like after four headlights approximately. So all I need to do, I keep special pad just for this one, it's a very small amount. This will last me Probably this whole package will last me probably forever for the rest of my life Again, very small poop of it I'll Close it and I will rub it in that lens You can see that I even put probably too much, but whatever doesn't matter. This is a special sealer box It should be resistant to the UV race polish it using a microfiber towel or cotton towel that's what it says on the back i am personally extremely happy with the results basically anytime i use this method and use this lens restoration it's always i see the huge improvement in appearance of the vehicle and also in the safety of driving so 
I highly recommend to do this to anyone. I hope all of you found this video helpful. If you do, if you enjoy it, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.